Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from the Zawa server. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. I'm having a pretty good one. I'm actually just kind of chillaxing, relaxing after work. So, all right, today in today's episode, we got a couple of things to do. So I just want to get to them. All right, let's get to them right away. First things first, we have to get off the bench and we have to get running over here. Because uh, in last episode, we not only did we have quite a bit of fun with the koalas always escaping, but we also uh, built the red panda exhibit. Now... I think, and I kind of forgot to test this, but I think the red panda exhibit is going to have the same problem as the koala exhibit and that the red pandas are just going to escape. <laughs> and this exhibit has proven to be very... Oh, God, where are they? I don't even, Oh, okay, I do, I do, I do hear them. Um, then maybe they're underneath here or something. I'll find them. Uh, but this this exhibit has proven to be very, very difficult to uh, up, keep uh, keep them in there. So I'm going to have to do some work on that. But the Red Panda exhibit, for example, I, I do like this one. I think this looked out, looks great. I absolutely adore it. I think it's wonderful. I think they're going to escape. I don't know for sure, but to play it safe, I'm not going to put them in today. But I am going to name them because you guys killed it with the names again. A lot of people uh, put down some suggestions. And here are some of the ones that... Uh, there's one one actually that two people recommended, actually, that I'm going to be using. And then the other one was actually recommended before I even made the Red Panda exhibit. So I kind of had to go with it. All right, so the first red panda is going to be named, and this was from Will Weston, so thank you very much for the name suggestion. Uh, Origin. Just like that. I like it. All right, and then the second one is going to be named, and this one uh, comes from Sakana and uh, Skycat64, both suggested Poe. And that's the that's the uh, panda off of Kung Fu Panda. Of course, that's a different kind of panda, but you know what? I don't discriminate. I don't care what kind of panda it is. I'm going <laughs> to... We're going to name it Poe. Uh, so Origin and Poe are going to be the two panda names. Now, let's actually get these guys out, but I'm going to have to put them away right away because I don't want them to run away. And we do have to... Oh, let me get that. Let me do some inventory stuff. Look get away from the annoying loud koalas over there. Um, I do need to do... Um, not that button. This button. I need to uh, get my book. There it is. And then I also need to get the pandas themselves. All right, so let's find, find out what which ones we got here. Let's put this one down. And what are you? You are a female. And what are you? You are a female as well. Okay, so we're going to have Origin and Poe. Just like that. Bam. All right, let's scoop these guys back up, or these gals back up. And then we'll always have them in our inventory. So uh, we'll keep them in this backpack. This is the one I have on my back. And then that way we'll be able to put them in here. I'm pretty sure they're going to climb up. Okay. So I did a little testing, though, uh, in uh, in my spare time here uh, with, uh, with what goes... Uh, what actually climbs up and what, what blocks they can climb up and what turns they can't. Turns out they kind of can climb up all of them. So that really makes it difficult. <laughs> they, I say they kind of can climb up all of them. It makes it difficult because uh, they uh, they don't... I was going to swap out the bottom with like brown terracotta. That I thought I mean, it would be a little visual hiccup, but I mean, it w if it works, it works. That way they wouldn't be able to climb up it. And that works so long as it's a grass block that they're running into against it. If it's these leaf blocks here, they can just go right up that too. So make, uh, this is a this is a difficult one. So I think what I'm going to do in today's episode, I was really looking forward to trying to get this stuff done right in this area. Maybe put that birds thing in here that I wanted to put. But I think what I'm going to do in this episode is is we're going to do a koala overhaul, and that that actually might be the name of the episode. Check the title, it might be. All right, so we're going to do a koala over overhaul, and I want to keep this exhibit but I want to keep them in the exhibit. A lot of you guys are saying that you have to fully enclose it, and you might be right. In fact, we, we might have to do that. Um, what's that uh, exhibit glass? I want to see some exhibit glass right here. Bam, that's some, that's some really thin, like pale looking stuff that might come in handy for this. But what I'm planning on doing is taking a nap because it's, uh, it's getting dark out. And, uh, and I'm planning on actually redoing the interior of this exhibit just a little bit. So I've been putting this glass in here to try to keep them in here so that they don't escape. And that seems to not be working whatsoever. They just kind of get out of here somehow. And I've actually been just kind of babbling here because I'm trying to see how they get out of here. Um, to no avail. I keep, uh, well, I've been playing Valheim lately, so I keep pressing Control shift to, to move items and it's not working. Let me just get up here and just look for a little bit. Um, and this way I can talk about what I'm playing. I only see one, so hopefully the other one's underneath this ledge. <laughs> Uh, where's Billy? Where's Billy? That's nutsy, I'm pretty sure, but where's Billy? Um, alright, so what my plan is for this exhibit is to redo the edges of it. Remove this glass for one. Okay, take the glass out completely. 
uh, for right now anyway. Uh, if I keep the bushes on the sides, they're going to be able to climb up it. Now, I did notice, though, that the koalas that exited the pen were able to walk back into the pen from the outside, and that was just grass leading up to the terracotta, so I think they can climb on anything. So what I'm going to try to do is, instead of putting a glass lip on this thing, I'm going to try to build up foliage on the back wall so that it overhangs and prevents them from climbing over it. Does that make any sense? Um, and then, as a last resort, if that does not keep them in here, <laughs> which I'm not really sure it's going to, but if that does not keep them in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to encase the opening where like the glass, or the foliage comes up on the side and stuff like that, and then it kind of overhangs like a small little awning. If, if that doesn't work, I'll encase the opening with the exhibition glass, and that should seal them completely in here, and then <laughs> that should work. Now, I actually don't see the other one. Where is he? He's right here. Okay, so Blinky's still in here. Okay, good to know. Yeet. All right. Um, let's seal that up right there. Now, exhibition glass. How do I make this again? Iron, iron bars surrounded by glass. I have a bunch of glass. All right. I'm hoping I don't need to use that, but I might need to even, like, in front here. I still don't know how these guys are getting out. Like, I've been sitting here watching these guys for a while, not just in this recording, but... Like, they don't escape unless I'm not looking, so... Alright, let me get some resources together, because I do have a backpack full of leaves. And then I'm also going to need to get some more spruce leaves, I think. Hmm, yes. Alright, let me get some resources together real fast. All right, resources acquired. I got some leaves. I got some of that exhibit glass. Hopefully the koalas are going to be able to stay in here this time. Let's get some nets out here because we're going to have to pick these guys up because now they're going to have a pretty free access to get out of here if they're not already out. I mean, let's be honest here. <laughs> All right, Nutsy, come here. Uh, Blinky, Bill, you too. Like, no, we're behaving. You don't have to scoop us up. No, 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 you're not behaving. You're, you're being a real pain. <laughs> I have to do this. All right, so now let's, uh, let's remove this glass for right now too. Let's go ahead and clear this all out. Because I'm going to be building kind of up in that area, so I'm going to need that cleared out. Um, this might take a little bit, so let me let me go ahead and clear all this glass. All right, the glass is removed. Let's stick that in the squid backpack for right now. Uh, in fact, let's uh, stick some of these steel bars in there too. I, I knocked out a couple of them. I might actually just remove this entirely for right now uh, as well, so I can get in and out of here a little bit quicker. Uh, instead of using up all my ender pearls, which aren't exactly in short supply, it's just kind of annoying to have to run back to go grab more. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a little hole right here to get up and down in, and we'll go ahead and put like a dirt block or something there. All right, so now I have to, I might have to raise this uh, the wall up just a little bit too to make this work, but basically, instead of putting a couple of bushes in the back, I'm going to be putting bushes along the entire back side of this whole thing, circling the entire side, with it kind of going up like vines, or like a like a wall of a like a like a like a grass wall kind of type thing, up and uh, up and over, and then hanging out a little bit more. Might have to throw in some other wood types in there, like uh, uh, fences or something like that, to make it kind of make it sense why it's like up against the wall. But to do that, I am going to need to get out of here. Oh, let me grab this. I dropped in there. Um, because in this backpack, I have a bunch of leaves, all right? I got some spruce leaves. Let's go ahead and grab a couple stacks of these things. Let's get them down on the hot bar. And then, uh, oops, put them back right in there like a doofus. All right, let's go ahead and put that there. Let's take the weapons off the hot bar. That's kind of a dangerous thing because my zoo sometimes has a tendency to have animals escape uh, and come after me. So, But I'll trust uh, that I'll be okay. All right, so what I need to do is I need to start building up this wall. I also need to remove anything along the side of it here because everything's going to have foliage now. And hopefully, 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 this will keep the uh, keep the pandas in place. Let's go ahead and start lining this now. <sighs> the front. I didn't even think about the front. <sighs> these pandas, or these uh, these uh, these koalas. Actually, it's going to be pandas next. I'm probably going to have to do something very similar to the red panda exhibit. The front is going to be an issue, isn't it? Because they can totally just climb out of here. You know what? I'm encasing it. I'm doing it, people. I'm going. To, not only am I going to do. Do I need to do the back grass wall thing then? Because if I, well, I mean, yeah, probably it'll look better. So, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and continue on with the grass wall like I was planning on. Um, I think that'll look better in the end. 
Um, let's get rid of the leaves and stuff that are, or the, the flowers that are right next to it. I think that it's going to look a lot better in the end. So let's go ahead and keep this, keep this idea going. Let's see if I can't get enough foliage put down here so that it looks like it's an overgrown area. Something like, uh, like so. And I need to get a little bit over here too. All right, something like that. Now, I will have to still encase this thing with the glass, I'm thinking, is my only bet for saving this. But now let's go through and add some of the spruce leaves in various places periodically. And right there, maybe, yep, uh-huh. <laughs> put, put it, like, right in here. Ugh. Ugh. It's all good stuff right now. This is just supposed to be sprinkled in. Nothing too fancy quite yet. Something along the lines of this. Hopefully this is gonna turn out right, because if this looks bad, I'm gonna I'm gonna tear the whole thing up. <laughs> I'm gonna tear the whole thing up and start over. Um, let's do this. And something like this. I did have some jungle leaves in here, I just realized now I, I don't know if I have any more of those things. So I might have to go find some more or just leave it with what I got. In fact, little patches of the jungle leaves kind of sticking through doesn't look too bad. Alright, so then let's build this back up with this with the uh, with the oak. This is very much winging it. Um, let's replace that right there. And then I think what it would look good is if I actually knocked out some of the ground here. In fact, I'm probably going to have to put lights in here. So that's probably where I'll put the lights is underneath some of these spots. Uh, let's do this here. And I think like that. And then as this is getting higher like this, uh, that's where I'm going to have to start curving it outwards more. So it's actually going to have to be like... And it's got to be consistent across the whole thing. Like, there has to be an awning over the entire thing. If it's Well, sort of. If I'm going to encase this thing, I guess it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, and I, I am going to have to encase it. I, I think that's, there's no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I think that's the only way that I'm going to be able to keep these guys in here. But hopefully this makes it look like they're more in the woods, you know? Uh, I don't like how line, 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 line this is right here. So i got to definitely break this up just a bit. Make this look uh, a little bit better than what it actually is. That actually made it the same exact problem. That was the same problem. Did the same thing to it right there. Like that? Okay, that's not as bad. Um, this is this is tricky because these stupid koalas... <laughs> I mean, if you guys watched the last episode, you saw my frustration. Those koalas would not... They won't stay in here. So it's, it's very difficult. They get very difficult to create an exhibit and move on to the next one when the, all the animals just keep escaping. <laughs> um... All right, let's go ahead and let's let's plant this flower someplace to get it out of my hot bar because I keep accidentally clicking on it. Something like this. So this should make it seem like they're in more of a forest uh, than what it was before. Yeah. Okay. So it's they don't have the palisade wall tucked behind them. Okay. And I might have to do something like I said, very similar to this one. I actually like how this looks. So maybe I'll maybe I'll mm, I'll brainstorm on that. I actually still don't even know if the, if the red pandas will escape. So. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking it too much. But let's, uh, let's keep this going here because at least this will give them a, a new environment. The, the exhibit will look a little bit more unique than, than the rest of them, so I'm not going to be too upset. This takes a little bit extra work. The koala overhaul. That's what this is. I got another flower! How did I, <laughs> how did I get this one? Let's put that out there for right now. Um, I thought I planted that. I probably did. That was probably just a completely different flower. Actually, I actually do need to go grab more uh, more leaves here. Get a couple more stacks of those things. Alright, now this is just about completely filled in. And then I'll be ready to switch it on over to, um, to the, the exhibit glass to try to keep them in here then. Alright, so let's see. That's pretty good. Definitely looks like bushes have grown all the way up and over and on this thing. So let's uh, let's add a couple more spots where I can put it in the ground, actually. And then something like right here as well. And then right here as well. Let's put one of those down. All right, good, good. And if that, I need more foliage in the ground, I'll do that. Let's let's look to see what this looks like. Okay, it's definitely more cramped, but there's only two koalas living in here, so it's not that bad. Now, the exhibit glass, let's talk about that. Let's go ahead and stick only, uh, let's keep only one stack of this stuff on me, and then we'll put the rest in there. Now, the exhibit glass, I believe I put in this backpack, or... Oh, no, I actually have it right here. I made uh, four stacks of it. 
So hopefully that's enough. Uh, and if not, I can always make more. It's pretty cheap. Let's go grab the this uh, couple blocks I have that's just sitting out here. Can I not? Oh, my inventory. Okay. Let's uh, let's do this. Ah, there we go. Got it. Because I really would like to keep the green uh, concrete powder. That's, uh, that's always a very valuable thing. I use it a lot in building. In fact, it's probably in my bat backpack. Let's go ahead and just uh, quick stack that in there. Yep. Okay. So now... Now comes the exhibit glass. Now this stuff is actually pretty awesome because of how clear it is. Like, look at that, you can barely see it, okay? Now I could also do chiseled glass, and I think that there's a couple of things that will work in that. In fact, I've done chiseled glass on all my other exhibits, but in this one, like all right there, that's chiseled glass. I think it looks good in that regards on the aviaries, but I don't think it's gonna look good if I just build a dome of that stuff over on this. So what I'm gonna do is I need to get my ender pearls out and um, eat myself up here. And then what I got to do is I want to kind of close this thing off, the, the top off, so that the koalas can't get out, all right? But I don't want to just build a dome because this this wall is very uneven, okay? So it's not like I have a very a nice circular area to go. So I'm thinking about actually creating just a flat top on this thing that will hold them in place because of how light it is, how how difficult this is to see, you know? I mean, you can see it. It kind of looks like a, like a ghost block, you know? But, uh, but how difficult it is to see, I'm thinking that it will look fine if we just layer it on top. So, what we're gonna do is, let's just start right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to encase every area that we can, even this one, and then like in spots like this, I might just do that, just to close it off, you know? And we're gonna keep it at this elevation. And what we're gonna do is we're going to try to keep the tank wallets inside this pen. <laughs> Uh, if this doesn't work, if, if sealing it off with glass and, and leaves doesn't work, I don't actually know how to keep them in here aside from building a glass box and never letting them out. Uh, or maybe I'll just put the, the nets on display. <laughs> so, alright, I'm going to keep going through and placing these like so. And we're going to see how this looks in the end, alright? So give me a second. They are in place. That's what it's going to end up looking like. It doesn't look great. I'm not going to lie. It, it you, you can notice it. It's noticeable in a sense like you're like, why is the air a little foggy here? But it's, I mean, considering it's either this or the koalas just run rampant through the zoo and probably wander into the jaguar pen, um, that, uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't really have, I don't really have much of a, a choice really. So, um, all right. So I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to I can probably get rid of the, the overhang now. Okay, I don't actually need this to be an overhang anymore because, I mean, they can't get out anyway. I'm just gonna line it with, with uh, leaves because at least it'll look kind of natural. And uh, and that way they, they'll they actually be able to go right up to this and walk on up because what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the glass down right here. So you're gonna be looking through the glass into the exhibit. I'm, base I'm sealing this off. There should be no way they can get out of this exhibit now. That's my plan anyway. So let's see, what do I got here? I got uh, I got some of these fences. Let's see, where's my squid backpack? I need this thing, I need a bed. Uh, let me go over here and stash some of my leaf blocks that I don't need in my inventory anymore. So I get a little bit of inventory management. You know me, I'm terrible with that. Uh, let's grab those out of there. And I also need uh, this, so I can do that right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start off with the exhibit glass. And I'm going to just line the front face of this thing with the glass. Now, what this should do is should keep the uh, the koalas from escaping out the front. All right. Now, I am not going to just leave it with one row deep because the koalas seem to be able to get out of that no problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place the one right there too, and I'm going to line that with the actual fence. Oh, it connects to it. That sort of sucks. I wasn't really expecting that. That does not look good at all. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think they can fit through? Oh, I might. Maybe I got an idea. Let's go ahead and just remove all of the glass I just placed. Like that. Okay, that's fine. That that last. Well, no, let's take that up too. Cause I don't. I'm, uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so leery about leaving any opening that they might be able to fit through. 
Maybe I'll just put it right on top of the fence. That might be the best way to go. That might be, yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's line the, the glass on top of this fence. That one doesn't really need one because it, I mean, well, I see a small opening. Okay, we're putting glass down. Um, that way I can uh, guarantee that the koalas will stay in there. And one more right there. Let's put the fence back in. We'll connect it right there. Now, I just realized I don't actually have the koala. <laughs> the koalas in there. So I still have them in my inventory. Uh, break that. This is almost like working with air blocks. Alright, so that would be the new koala exhibit. Oh, I hope they stay in there this time. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, add them back into the exhibit. I know it's a little janky because, like I said, there's a haze over it now, but I don't know how else to keep them in there well, unless I completely destroy it and move them to a different area. And I don't want to do that because I kind of like having the uh, I like having the koalas here. All right, so let's go ahead and re-add these guys. Boink. And there's uh, Nutsy and there's Blinky Bill. Enjoy your new home, and please do not escape at this time. All right, let's go ahead and seal this off here and then put one of the blocks there. That should keep them in there. Should. Let's emphasize on that for a second. Should <laughs> keep them in there. Now, I'm going to sit here and watch these guys for a little bit because I kind of want to see how this pans out. Actually, you know what? I can work on a project while I'm watching them. Let's get the squid backpack out again because I'm going to need to store these fences here as well as the exhibit glass. I don't need that as in this glass, too. i got a couple straggler pieces in there. And I'll throw my, my shears in there, too. Why not? Um, are you guys going to stay in there? Please stay in there. Um... Oh, God, I'm nervous already. I, I put a lot of planning into this, and if it fails, I'm going to look like a big doofus, and and I'm still going to be back at square one. All right, so the red panda exhibit, I might have to do the same exact thing to. Um, I don't know. Look at it. See, you see him climbing on the glass? You're still in there, though. <laughs> hey, there's a hole right here. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Got you. All right, you're not getting out today. That's Blinky Bill. So it, lo it does look like the koala is flying, but the important part is, so same with this one, the important part is they're still in the exhibit. <laughs> it's still in the exhibit. It does look a little, a little weird though, doesn't it? Hmm. wonder if I can, I might be able to, hmm. I'm trying to think, maybe I should put like a support right here so that it kind of explains it. They kind of do look like they're flying. No, no, you know, I'm just happy they're in there. I'm just happy they're in there for right now. Um, they have that entire exhibit to kind of explore with all the leaves and all the, the, the uh, flowers and stuff, and they're choosing to float here on the glass. That's their choice. Uh, all right, so while they're trying to escape desperately, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work a little bit on this front part also, just getting the path put in in front of here. Now, I do want to leave an area right here because somewhere in here, and maybe I'll mark it with just some cobble, I want to put another exhibit, and I might need to move this guy to do that. But, like, basically starting from right here to somewhere on this thing. Like, right there. I want to throw another exhibit. A small one, similar to the platypi. I want to put another one in there. Um, in fact, it could start shortly after this. Like, actually, like, right here or even there or so. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to put in there because I have to comb through my animals. If you guys know any small animals that would work good for a little central exhibit, similar to the platypus, let me know, actually, because I would love to put them in there. And preferably ones that do not climb stuff. Because, boy, those things are annoying. Um, all right, so let me let me get to work on digging out an area right here because I do want to get this path put in right in front of this. And then I think that's probably going to be it. I think the koala overhaul will be done. And now we have flying koalas. All right, let me get to work here. Alright, there we go. Got the path put in right in front of both these exhibits. Actually, I stretched it down that far. Alright, let's uh, let's sort some of this inventory again here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to grab some of the um, some of the uh, the leaves back out here. So let's grab the green backpack here and pull out a couple of leaves here. 
And I'm also going to need the squid backpack because I need to get a couple of fence posts and whatnot here. Let's grab a few of these and maybe a couple of those and maybe a couple of those. All right, so what I'm going to do is right here, I kind of want to put like a little seating-ish area or at least some, some, uh, some foliage going up this wall a bit. Something like this. Uh, not not too crazy, not too heavy, not too anything like that. I'm going to put that right there. In fact, I might only need to do that. That might be it. Let's change uh, up at least we get a little different block diversity in there. Just a hair. Yeah, just like that. All right, now I wouldn't mind making another park bench. Do I have a... I have, I have a couple of them. Look at that. I thought I had a couple someplace. Let's go ahead and just squeeze this in right there. And I think... Yeah, that connects to it in on the back, but honestly, you don't really see the back, so I'm not too worried about it. And we'll just leave that sit right there. Claws are flying again, but you know what? They're in the exhibit. All right. <laughs> so I think that looks pretty good, like, right there. Now, this needs to connect over here, but this is where I'm going to need to get going on that other exhibit. I kind of need to do this. I'm not going to touch this side of the road because there's more work that needs to be done right here. So I do have to come through my animals. Like I said, comment section, if you guys could. A small animal that would work good for a central exhibit like that. It as long as it doesn't climb. Uh, I could put that, that deer that I found uh, a couple episodes back in the jungle over there. That'd be kind of fun. Um, all right, and then as far as any other decorations, I'm not sure if there's anything else I really need to do because I don't know what I'm going to do here. Like I said, there's that that part. Is there... Do I have... I don't suppose I happen to have another... Um, I'll have a bunch of name tags in here. I completely forgot about uh, I don't suppose I happen to have another lamp post and stuff like that. Like, let's, uh, let's look that up real quick. Uh, lamp. Right here, these parts. They take iron and gravel and stuff. Alright, let me grab the bat backpack. Get some of these things whipped up real fast. I want to put a lamp, like, right... Actually, you know what? Uh, anything but an axe causes the game to seize, so let's grab an axe. Knock that thing out. And move this right over here. There we go. Now I'll put the lamp right in here. So give me a second to get that whipped up real fast. Alright, lamp acquired. Got all the parts I need right here. We're going to slap this bad boy down right here. And that way I'll provide light here, even at nighttime, just a hair at least. Alright, so the koalas are safely in their exhibit. They're no longer escaping. High fives, everybody. Yeah, high fives. All around. That was... <laughs> that was actually a tremendous feat. Those things were driving me nuts last episode. It was kind of bonkers. At least they're in there. Now, as far as this one... I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, we'll have to just see. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up this episode here. might be a little shorter just because I, I, I just had to fix that. But I'm going to wrap up this episode right here uh, because I got I got to plan out some more stuff for this area as well. I'm going to do a, a little bit of work off camera, I think, to, to see if I can't get some of this stuff working. And if the if the panda thing doesn't really pan out, I might try to knock that whole thing out off camera so we don't spend an entire episode working on that. So, all right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode really means a lot and if you did enjoy this video though if you if you enjoyed watching me struggle with the koalas uh, go ahead and smash that like button it helps me out a ton as well and if you guys didn't know i actually have a patreon i'm always looking for people to help me on there because i mean it helps me out tremendously if you enjoy the content and you are able to of course uh consider you know uh, donating to the patreon it helps me out a bunch uh we also have a, uh, our own discord that you actually get benefits to if you do one of the, the tier donations on there so yeah go take uh, go take a look see if, if you like it and if you want to come chat with me on a discord or whatever because um, i'm on there all the people you see in some of my other videos and stuff like that they're on there and you could be as well so alrighty, guys thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you in the next one Bye bye